Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to 2023. I hope you've had a fantastic time bringing in the new year with your family and friends. The beginning of each new year is a time, isn't it, when we take stock. We often look back at the year that was and we start to think about the year that's coming up and what we might be facing. And with that in mind, I can't think of a more appropriate verse than to use on this first day of 2023 than this one. And it's from Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. And it simply says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's such a simple statement, but so profound and and so important as we think about uh, 2023 and we look ahead and start to plan for 2023. It simply reminds us, Jesus Christ never changes. He always was and always is and always will be. He's the first and the last. And we can be totally certain of who Jesus is and what he does because he never changes. What a contrast to what we hear from the world around us where all we seem to hear about is change and upheaval and discontent, uncertainty and even fear, fear of the future. But we base our lives on Jesus Christ. And so when we look ahead to 2023, we can do so with certainty, with anticipation and with purpose, knowing that Jesus Christ is the same, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Uh, Colossians 1 talks about Jesus and who Jesus is, and it says simply, the Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation, for in him all things were created. Things in heaven, things on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the church, the body, and he is the beginning of and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything, in everything, he might have the supremacy. Because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever, we move into 2023 with certainty. It's a strong assurance we have, isn't it, that Jesus Christ who holds the cards, it's Jesus He holds our world together, not any world leader, not our climate, not anything else that comes our way. Regardless of what happens around us, we live with that certainty and we and with complete faith that God through Jesus is supreme over all things. Don't we need to hear that in today's world where No matter what we may be facing this year, because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever, we can live with certainty, knowing that we have a protector, a provider, a guide and a friend. We can completely trust what Jesus said. He said about himself when he was alive here on earth, I am the good shepherd. I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the way, the truth and the life. It's in Jesus we have our being. It's in him we find meaning in life in all its fullness. 
Praise God. We have a rock solid foundation on which to build our lives and which helps us to face the challenges of everyday life and every situation. This is our certainty we take into 2023 today. Because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever, we move into 2023 not with just certainty but with anticipation and with excitement and hope. Knowing that God is at work in each one of us. God's working in you and in me, transforming us to be more and more like him. What an exciting thought to take into this new year. We read in 2 Corinthians about this in, three, in chapter 3 verse 18. And it says, So all of us who have had the veil removed can see and reflect the glory of the Lord. And the Lord, who is the Spirit, makes us more and more like him as we're changed into his glorious image. And we also read in Philippians chapter 1, verse 6, And I am certain that God, who began the good work within you, will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Jesus Christ returns. How good will it be to look back over 2023 and see how God has worked in our lives during the year and how each one of us is reflecting his glory more and more. And finally, Because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, let's face 2023 with purpose. At the end of Matthew, uh, Jesus, it says these words, Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 18 to 19, that's from. May we be ready to share our faith this year, our faith story, just to those who we meet and the opportunities that come our way this year. So I encourage you today Let's take time to rejoice, to thank Jesus because he's the same yesterday in 2022, today, the first day of 2023, and right through 2023 and forever. He will never change. And with our never changing Lord, we can look look ahead in 2023. We can look with certainty with anticipation and with purpose. Once again, Happy New Year and may you have a fantastic time celebrating with your family and friends.